and below that we have got some options and some windows and panels let's see it one by one here we can see the first I don't know what to call this bar but uh, here we have got lots of options the first is hand tool second is move tool third is rotate tool fourth is scale tool fifth is rack tool actually rectangle tool you can say uh, this is a collection of all the tools move rotate or scale select object and this is available custom editor tools this is pivot global so many things are there actually at first sight it it uh, might seem a bit complicated so i will explain it one by one what are the windows uh, first actually just name it what are those this is a hierarchy panel or you can say a hierarchy window and this is a scene window and here we are op here we are given options for asset stores and animator i am just naming the window i will explain it and here we have inspector window currently it is empty and below we can see that uh, the game window the project window the console window and inside the con console window we are already given a lots of options clear collapse clear on play clear on build and here are so there are too many options available here so let's see this one by one so here first let's see hierarchy what is hierarchy currently we can see what the things are available in my hierarchy we have a sample scene we have a main camera you can see this camera when we collect when we select uh, click on any of the object it is selected and highlighted uh, let's see when we click main camera you can see this is main camera this is highlighted and we can see all the fields of view and a small icon for it similarly uh, here you can see a small sun like object that is directional light when I click on directional light you can see this directional light you can actually see the direction in which it's projecting its light we will explain all the things later first let's see what are the available here uh, in the hierarchy window we have got all our 3d and 2d objects which we will create which we will use to create our app or game so currently we have nothing except the main camera and directional light but uh, when I import some assets or some 3d models it will be shown here and it and we can make use of it for our game okay let's see some more panels here we here I want to tell you about uh, the scene window you can see this is scene window whatever we do whatever we create this we will create this in scene window so suppose you are designing a level of your game you have to design it in scene window persons who have used unity before they know this very well but I am telling you very briefly for beginners so this is a scene window where we will create our app or game or scene uh, whatever we have to develop we will develop in scene and here you can see asset store as I said we will be needing some 3d models so where we can get this 3d models there are actually uh, lots of websites where you can get some 3d models and I will tell you about later but uh, unity have also provided a asset store for downloading assets and by assets I am in 3D models, some tools, music, video, assets can be anything anything that you will require in your game development or app development uh, let's see assets for a second and I will want to tell you one more thing this interface of unity which you are seeing 5 or 6 windows and a lot of options it's completely flexible it means you can change every aspect of it for example you can see this is a hierarchy window presented in rectangular form I can increase its size from right, I can increase its size from left anything, we can distort it, we can create it, we can do anything and not only for hierarchy window, for every window you can see this is a scene window, I can drag it out of the scene let's see I have dragged the scene window out of its place here our previous, previously the scene window was here and asset store and animator were here but now I have dragged scene window out of there uh, so let's place it once again there so here you can see scene, asset store and animator all in line once again similarly you can change all the inspector window console window game window whatever you want uh, for example I can select and drag this game window in alignment with all the fours so right now we can see I have dragged the game window from bottom to the top 
now scene game asset store and animator all lies in the same line and I can use any of them but actually only one of them because all of the fours are lying in the same window by window I mean this this rectangular column here follow my cursor this rectangular column if I click on scene the scene is open in this window if I click on game the game scene is open in this window if I click on asset store asset store will be open in this window and similarly animator so currently we put back the game window to its original position so it was here we can also make it float or place here and there everywhere uh, say so I took the game window out of its place and it's floating right now so we don't want that we want it to be placed in its original location ok so this was the original interface I told you what we can do with it so this is actually the default interface of unity you can change this view you can adjust manually as I told you increase your size or drag or make it out of window or you can also do it from here so I already told you some basics but I will briefly explain it once again so you are seeing this title bar basic unity project name of the project sample scene name of the scene android the platform for which we are building and unity 2019.4.0 f1 the version of unity which we are currently working in and the personal it means the license which we are using in unity it's unity personal which was, which was free so here you can see the menu bar the files edit assets game object component window and help in file there were lots of options similar in assets in edit in game object in component window help so on first day uh, I switched the uh, view from basic to three tiles and here you can see for a split and default we have got two options let's switch our view to default first let's make it full screen so you can see this is the default interface of unity and again we can change it from here layout for a split it's very bad again change to default and here you can see I am missing an option which I used yesterday so I am missing a layout to get back that layout I have to revert factory settings I will click revert factory settings and I will get the layout which I am missing currently here you can see unity is about to delete all window layout and restore them to default settings and we will confirm it so let's make it full screen and now check it again windows layouts here you can see this 2 by 3 this was the layout which I was missing and when I have changed the factory to revert the setting to revert factory we got this option let's click it 2 by 3 this is actually a good layout currently I am not working in it but I have worked in it it's very helpful actually so currently I will work with default f and the only change which I will do with default is we want this game scene to be at bottom actually the 2 by 3 was similar to this so let's see I told you what is hierarchy hierarchy contains all our 3d and 2d objects which we will require to create our game scene is the window where we can create our games and game what is game whatever we create in our scene it will be displayed in game game you can imagine game is the view which uh, people will see in their mobiles when you build this app we have currently not built anything but I am telling you the scenario if we build the app how it will look in our mobiles or if you if you are creating it for iPhone or even Windows or web so how we it will look in mobiles you can visualize here we will see it in a few minutes and here asset store I already told you we can get lots of models and utility tools from here and here is the inspector panel currently it is ok be uh, empty because we have not selected any of the object let's select the object currently we have a main menu uh, main camera and directional light let's select main camera when we selected main camera you can see there are lots of uh, options which are visible in inspector here you can see in inspector we have got all the settings and properties of this main camera like you can see transform is there and so many options are there similarly if we select for directional light we can see again there are lots of options transform light 
and so many things.